All right. Feederer 2001 says, I want to see you take apart the $50 cobalt battery. I'm wondering what kind of batteries are in them. Well, good news, Feederer 2001. I have one of those batteries right here. And after I'm done eating my breakfast, I'm going to take this apart. Alright, well let's take this battery apart and see what's inside. These batteries come apart pretty easily. Just got to make sure that you have your right tools. There. Those four little screws is all that's really holding this together. <clears throat> and you just take the top off just like this. So let's see what we have inside of here. See there's the board, which looks exactly the same as all the other boards. See if we can find any markings on these. Sure enough, we did. <clears throat> Excuse me. TL39RXA. And we have 072666. But then over here, 072644, so that's just the, the, the cell number, I believe. The main number that we need to search out is probably going to be this. I don't know, you can't really see it. It's here. So you're just going to have to believe me, I think. The cell is a TL39. R X A and there is no markings of brand on these that I can see of so far it looks like there's an A in front of this whoa shoot did you see what I just did man It's so hot. I don't know if you can see that, but I laid it on this spine here and I caused the reaction and I burnt the, the tablecloth even. So let's let's just find out if this battery is any good anymore. It says it's fully charged still. Let's take this battery off of here. Okay, good. Battery is fine. Okay, again, be careful with what you're doing. I should have thought of this thing being metal right here. I mean, you can really see it burnt see right here try and get it so you can see the best yes and then also you can see the tablecloth right here 
It's got some burns in it. So whenever you're handling this battery, it's got to be careful. All right, but I do not see uh, a brand name on here. So let's, let's do a little search. All right, I'm back. And this is what I discovered. Zero. I got a few ideas on stuff that I'm going to be doing in the future to build uh, larger battery packs, particularly for that Jetson scooter that I've been uh, working on. Stay tuned. I don't have much on this battery. Here, I'll peel this uh, off so you can see how the batteries are connected. So, just like this, they're connected directly to each other, top to bottom. So if you want to take and add more battery packs, you have to just solder them one after another, after another, after another. This is going to work really good for solar energy storage. Stay tuned.